Did you know that if you are in menopause, your risk of heart disease increases? Did you know that if you have a thyroid disorder like hypothyroidism, your risk of heart disease increases? Now what happens if you have both? You're in menopause and you have an underactive thyroid? In this extremely important video, I'm going to explore the often overlooked effects of both menopause and hypothyroidism on your precious heart and some important tests to determine your heart health. You're never too old or too young to begin taking care of your heart. And most women don't even realize they're at risk with either of these factors and even more so when they are combined. So first, cardiovascular health awareness and proactive management for menopausal and postmenopausal women. Heart disease is the primary cause of death for women in their menopausal years, which typically starts in the late 40s to early 50s, and this remains consistent as women age into their 60s and beyond. Surprisingly, it leads to more deaths than breast cancer, accounting for one in every five female deaths, according to the CDC. In a nutshell, heart disease in women increases significantly post-menopause. This is primarily due to changes in body composition, lipid profiles, blood pressure, and arterial health, which are all influenced by the decline in estrogen levels that is characteristic of menopause. Now let's take a closer look. Heart disease risk increases in women during this stage of life due to several interconnected factors, mainly revolving around the hormonal changes that occur during this time. These are the key contributors. First, decline in estrogen. Estrogen is believed to have a protective effect on the heart and blood vessels. Its decline during menopause can lead to a variety of changes that increase the risk of developing cardiovascular disease. These include changes in the walls of the blood vessels, making them less elastic, and changes in the lipid profile, such as increases in LDL, the bad cholesterol, and decreases in HDL, the good cholesterol. Number two, changes in blood pressure. Blood pressure often increases with menopause, adding stress to the cardiovascular system and increasing the risk of heart disease. Number three, increase in LDL cholesterol. The decline in estrogen can lead to an increase in LDL cholesterol and triglycerides, which can contribute to the development of arter arteriosclerosis, which is the hardening of the arteries. Number four, increase in body weight. When many women experience weight gain during menopause due to a combination of factors, including hormonal changes, aging, lifestyle, and decreased metabolism. Increased body weight, especially increased abdominal fat, is associated with higher risks for cardiovascular disease. So body composition is crucial. A leaner body is much more heart healthy than a high percentage of body fat. Number five, development of type two diabetes. Menopause can increase insulin resistance, which can lead to type two diabetes, a significant risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Number six, inflammatory changes. Menopause is associated with increases in markers of inflammation, a critical factor in the development of arteriosclerosis. Number seven, physical inactivity. Physical activity often decreases as age increases, which can exacerbate other risk factors for heart disease. Number eight, mental stress and depression. Postmenopausal women are at a higher risk of depression and stress, which are linked to heart disease, possibly due to the effects of stress hormones on the heart and blood vessels. What are the stress hormones? Adrenaline and cortisol. Adrenaline makes the heart beat faster and causes your blood pressure to go up, giving you more energy. And cortisol, the primary stress hormone, increases sugar, aka glucose, in the bloodstream, enhances the brain's use of glucose, and increases the availability of substances in the body that repair tissues. Now back to estrogen. 
Estrogen plays a crucial role in managing how cholesterol is used and processed in the body. Without enough estrogen, the body becomes less efficient at managing cholesterol levels, leading to an increase in bad type of cholesterol, which is a risk factor for heart disease. In menopause, the primary reason for the decline in estrogen levels is the aging and eventual cessation of function in the ovaries. During a woman's reproductive years, the ovaries are the main source of estrogen produced under the control of hormones from the pituitary gland in the brain, such as follicle stimulating hormone or FSH and luteinizing hormone or LH. As women approach menopause, the number of follicles which produce estrogen in the ovaries decreases significantly. So how do our cholesterol levels increase at this vulnerable time in a woman's life? Number one, the role of estrogen in cholesterol management. So I already mentioned that estrogen helps regulate the metabolism of cholesterol. It helps increase the amount of HDL cholesterol, often referred to as good cholesterol, and reduces LDL cholesterol, known as bad cholesterol. HDL cholesterol helps remove bad cholesterol from your arteries. Number two, what happens during menopause? As you enter menopause, your body's production of estrogen declines. Since estrogen helps manage cholesterol levels favorably, its reduction means there's less regulation of cholesterol, leading to an increase in LDL cholesterol and sometimes a decrease in HDL cholesterol. This shift creates a more unfavorable cholesterol profile. Number three, why cholesterol levels still increase? You might wonder, if less estrogen is being made from cholesterol, shouldn't cholesterol levels drop? The key here is that the body's regulation of cholesterol isn't only about how much is used to make hormones, it's also about how cholesterol is processed, transported, and removed from your body. Estrogen influences these processes, promoting the removal of LDL cholesterol from the blood and aiding in its breakdown. When estrogen levels drop, these processes become less efficient, leading to an overall increase in LDL cholesterol levels in the bloodstream. Number four, increased risk of heart disease. With more LDL cholesterol circulating in the blood, there's a higher risk of plaque buildup in the arteries, known as arteriosclerosis, which can lead to heart disease. In essence, while it might seem counterintuitive that cholesterol increases when a cholesterol-based hormone like estrogen decreases, it's because estrogen plays a crucial role in managing how cholesterol is used and processed in the body. Without enough estrogen, the body becomes less efficient at managing cholesterol levels, leading to an increase in the bad type of cholesterol, which is a risk factor for heart disease. Now let's take a look at thyroid function. Does untreated hypothyroidism put you at an increased risk of heart disease? The answer is yes. Untreated hypothyroidism can increase the risk of heart disease. Hypothyroidism, a condition in which the thyroid gland does not produce enough thyroid hormone, has several effects on the cardiovascular system that can contribute to heart disease. First, increased LDL cholesterol. Hypothyroidism often results in elevated levels of LDL or the low density lipoprotein cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, which as we know, can contribute to the formation of plaque in the arteries, increasing the risk of heart disease. Number two, reduced heart rate. Hypothyroidism can cause brachycardia or a slower than normal heart rate, which can affect the heart's ability to pump blood effectively. Number three, weakened heart muscle. Prolonged thyroid hormone deficiency can lead to decreased contractibility and a condition known as diastolic dysfunction where the heart muscle doesn't relax properly between beats. I will talk later about this heart health tests 
Number four, arteriosclerosis. The increased cholesterol levels and altered lipid metabolism associated with hypothyroidism can accelerate arteriosclerosis or the buildup of fat and other substances in the artery walls. Number five, increased blood pressure. Some individuals with hypothyroidism may experience increased diastolic blood pressure. This increase in blood pressure can strain the heart and blood vessels. Number six, elevated homocysteine levels. Hypothyroidism is associated with increased levels of homocysteine, an amino acid linked to heart disease and stroke. Number seven, endothelial dysfunction. There's evidence that hypothyroidism can cause changes in the endothelial function, which can impact the elasticity of blood vessels and overall cardiovascular health. Treating hypothyroidism typically involves thyroid hormone replacement therapy, which can help mitigate these risks by normalizing thyroid hormone levels, thereby improving cholesterol levels, heart rate, and overall cardiovascular health. It's also important to monitor and adjust thyroid medication if needed to maintain optimal thyroid function and minimize the risk of heart disease. Cardiovascular health awareness and proactive management for low thyroid function during menopause. A low thyroid function or hypothyroidism complicates the situation further when it comes to cholesterol and overall heart health, especially during menopause. Here's how these two conditions interact first impact on cholesterol. Metabolism. Hypothyroidism is known to decrease the body's metabolism, which includes slowing down the processing of lipids or fats, such as cholesterol. This can lead to an increase in bad cholesterol, LDL, and possibly a decrease in good cholesterol, HDL. Essentially, if the thyroid gland is underactive, the liver processes cholesterol less efficiently, leading to higher cholesterol levels in the blood. Number two, combined effect with menopause. During menopause, the natural decline in estrogen, as we know, already disrupts the favorable balance of cholesterol. When combined with hypothyroidism, which further impairs lipid metabolism, the effect can be compounded leading to significantly higher levels of LDL cholesterol. This combination poses a higher risk for the development of arteriosclerosis or plaque buildup in the arteries. Number three, reduced heart function. Hypothyroidism can also reduce the heart rate and weaken the heart muscle, impacting its ability to pump blood efficiently. This can exacerbate cardiovascular issues particularly in postmenopausal women who are already at an increased risk due to hormonal changes. Number four, other cardiovascular risks. Both hypothyroidism and menopause can lead to increased blood pressure, another risk factor for heart disease. Hypothyroidism can cause higher dystolic blood pressure. That's the bottom number in a blood pressure reading, which adds additional strain on the cardiovascular system. Therefore, managing both hypothyroidism and the effects of menopause is crucial for maintaining heart health. Regular monitoring of thyroid function, the sex hormone levels, estrogen, progesterone, and especially their ratio, and testosterone levels, cholesterol levels, and other markers for heart health is essential to adjust treatments as needed and to mitigate the risk of cardiovascular diseases. In conclusion, managing the combined impact of menopause and hypothyroidism on heart health involves a multifaceted approach that includes hormone therapy, lifestyle modifications, and regular monitoring. This approach I will examine in my next video. Thank you for joining me and if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.